welcome back again i am snehal from ksol's product team i would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for taking the interest in dashboard ninja advanced video in this video we will see the basics of dashboard ninja advance along with the demonstration so let's go for it dashboard ninja is a base for dashboard ninja advance dashboard ninja advance opens up the limitless possibilities for you to present the complex data in the forms of charts or list view we are also offering a query feature which will helps the users to fetch a data also we are offering a tv mode option so let's go for a hot features so first hot feature is a new layout which are the possibles for the list view second important hot feature is a tv mode and third important hot feature is a query feature where user can write his own sql query so let's go for a demonstration after installing dashboard ninja advance just click on the breadcrumb select my dashboard and let's move ahead with a first hot feature that is play option select a play button item presentation is done in a slide show view we are offering the both direction flexibility let's say backward and forward and you can see it how it moves so let's go for a settings for a slide interval click on configuration click on dashboard and select your dashboard edit and just click on the slide interval option we are offering various types of slide intervals for different seconds as of now we will be selecting 5 seconds so select that save it and go back to your dashboard so here how it works let's move ahead with a next hot feature so next hot feature is a different layout for list view and here you will see a different layout let's say layout 1 2 and 3 and you can easily spot the difference and you can see how a different layouts are done so to change the layout click on a full settings go in a display option click on a list way of layout and here it goes select a different layout and you can spot the difference choose as per your choice save it go back to your dashboard yeah here how it works let's ahead with a query feature along with it so we will be selecting a bar chart for a query so let's say give a name a query feature in a data calculation type select a custom query in custom query option write your sql query so here it goes so for x label it's totally on your choice let's say we will be taking here as a partner y axis you can take a various item so let's say as per our sql query it's like total and untasked just save it and you can see a query feature bar chart is ready go back to your dashboard and this is how the bar chart is created using a sql query so now we will see how a query feature works along with a date ranges so select a horizontal bar chart let's say give, give the name of the item let's say a data range features in query so select a custom query tick a check box for date range select a start date it's totally your choice select a end date you can choose any write the sql query in a custom query option choose a x label let's say partner and this is how the horizontal bar chart looks save it and this is how the custom query option works with a date feature go back to your dashboard and here it is you can see a two types of uh, charts uh, one is with query and one with is query with a specific date range now next move ahead with a sorting feature we are providing a sorting feature for normal default list view item so if we see for a total you can see the items are getting sorted records are getting sorted so this is for a like default list view items 
suppose again we move ahead with a id you see a records are sorted in that manner same goes with the order reference here how it works so this is all for this video i believe you have got a idea about the various hot features that we are providing in a dashboard ninja advance stay tuned for our next video thank you and have a nice day ahead